For maximum muscle growth, should you perform fast or slow reps? Gym bros say that ego lifting is better, whereas science-based lifters say that you need to go super slow on your workout. But the reality is that both of these people are wrong. There is a third new method that is actually better than both of these combined. Now, muscles respond to force. When you hold a dumbbell, an inertial source of force, the bicep gets challenged because it prevents the dumbbell from pulling the forearm down. But when you do a fast rep, the initial force generates a lot of acceleration, which means more inertia. Inertia says that an object in motion tends to continue to be in the state of motion. And in this case, the dumbbell wants to fly up because of the acceleration and inertia, hence offering almost zero resistance to the muscle. At the same time, if your reps are too slow, you end up limiting the maximum output of your muscles. Now, according to research, neither ultra slow or ultra fast reps have any benefit. That's why the exercise you perform should be done controlled, not slow, controlled. Which means that you shouldn't forcefully try to make it slow or lift too fast just to lift more weight. Because even though you're lifting more numbers, the amount of mechanical tension your muscle experiences is actually lesser. Eventually, once you reach closer to failure, your movement automatically slows down. Here, adding a little bit of momentum or getting a slight spot can help you get a little bit better stimulus.